everyone, and welcome to Girls Game Shelf. My name is Monique from Before You Play, and today I get to teach you how to play a game called 18 Holes, designed by Ryan Boucher and published by Seabrook Studios. In 18 Holes, players play a round of 18-hole golf using a hand of five golf clubs. Each turn, players simultaneously select one club to use and draw shot cards from their appropriate decks that will determine how far they hit the ball. Once a club card is used, it may not be used again until all other clubs have been played. Once a player reaches the green, you finish the turn, then all players move on to the next hole. The game plays 1-4 to four players and takes about 30-60 to 60 minutes to play. But before we begin, I'd like to point out that the components in this copy are as close to production as possible, but the final product may have some slight design changes. And with that, let's start with setup. To set up the course, first split the hex tiles into three piles, one with all tiles that have a green, another with the remaining tiles that contain tea boxes, and a third with all the remaining fairway tiles. Shuffle each pile separately, then take the top tea box tile and place it on the table. Afterwards, draw fairway tiles equal to the number listed under the red line of the tea box hex and place them so that they continue the light green fairway path. Then place a hex from the green stack to complete the hole and place the first hole token over the green. Draw a tea box tile to start the second hole adjacent to the green and repeat the steps until you have 18 holes. The game also comes with many hex tiles that you can use to add or adjust the hazards, making the course easier or harder. Next, sort the shot cards into their individual decks and shuffle them separately. Afterwards, each player selects a golfer and chooses which side to play. The A side for an easier game or B side for a more challenging game. Then shuffle the golf clubs and distribute them evenly amongst players, removing the ones for 3-4 to four players in a 2-player game and discarding extras to the box without looking at them. Players will then draft a club and pass the rest of the hand to the player sitting on their left and repeat with a new hand until all players have 5 clubs each. Place all golfer meeples on the tee box of the first hole and you are ready to begin. Each turn in 18 holes consists of players simultaneously selecting golf clubs and drawing shot cards to hit their ball closer to the green. First, players choose one of their face-up club cards to play this turn. When a golf club is used, it is turned face down and may not be used again until all other cards have been used. Alternatively, players may use any card to move one hex, unless they're in a bunker, or they may skip their turn and reset their hand. Then, players simultaneously play their club by following the directions on the card. Typically, cards will instruct players to draw from one or two of the labeled decks. Each deck features a trajectory pattern that travels as many hexes as its number. If you need more distance, you can choose to make a big hit and instead draw from the highest numbered deck, drawing one more card than what the club states and allowing the next player to choose your shot for you. After all cards have been drawn, players then declare the direction in which they will be hitting their ball and resolve their cards, moving their golfer accordingly. If your golfer is hitting from the fairway, your ball lands in the orange hex relative to your golfer. Move the number of hexes shown on the card and end your movement on the hex labeled in orange. If hitting from the rough, which is a darker grass, your ball travels one hex short, landing on the hex with the rough symbol. Hybrid clubs avoid this penalty. If you are drawing from the chip deck or hitting out of a bunker, you must declare the direction in which you are hitting the ball prior to drawing a card. Chip shot cards only ever move two hexes, but allow you to hit over trees. When resolving a chip card, the small hex is a space your ball is chipped over, landing on the orange hex as usual. When drawing shot cards, you will also run into three other types of cards. Super hits and shorts, which force you to draw from a higher number deck or lower number deck respectively. Shuffle cards, which prompt you to reshuffle all of the discarded cards back into their decks. And wild cards with multiple outcomes, which allow the player to choose which outcome to use. You will also encounter several types of hazards. Trees surrounded by a fence stops movement. Ending your movement on a hex with water causes you to miss your next turn. And if you land in a bunker, on your next turn, you choose a club and first declare an adjacent hex to move into. Then you draw a card as you would normally, except this time you resolve the figure in the corner that shows one of four outcomes. You stay in the bunker, you successfully land in the hex of your choice, or you land to the left or right of your chosen hex. Lastly, if your ball leaves a course tile, even in passing, it is considered out of bounds and the player must place their golfer where they last hit the ball, flipping the used golf club face up again. If at the end of the turn, one or more players has reached the green, they each get a scoring token and all players are moved to the next hole. Otherwise, play continues with the next turn. The game ends once players have completed all 18 holes and whoever won the most holes is the winner. The game also comes with rules for several different modes of play. Players can try stroke play, where players earn points for each club played 
turn missed or out of bounds, and the player with the lowest score wins. There's also Chaos Golf, where three to four players may score the holes in any order, and are awarded point tokens depending on the order they finished. Golf Racing, which is a race to the 18th hole green. Skins, which is like standard play, except each hole is now worth one, two, or five points. Kelly Golf, where players each have a secret green they're trying to reach. And lastly, Stableford, which features a more forgiving scoring system than stroke play. And that is how you play 18 holes. If you are interested in learning more about the game, please check them out on Kickstarter. And thank you so much for watching.